Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Joam and today we are going to discuss 3D model of a building. So first of all, I would like to thank you for showing the love and support to our channel. Secondly, you can always suggest us what kind of videos you want to see in future. So let's get back to the work and let me tell you what why I am here today. So today I will take you to the home tour of a house. The plan of the building has already been discussed in our previous video and you can find the link in the description box. Now let's go to the 3D model. So let me start by showing you the 3D model. So this is our 3D model of the plan that I was discussing about. You can see the model. I will explain it to you at every level. First of all, let's have a look around. So this is the front of the house and here is the parking area. This is the main door as you can see and we have steps to reach the door again we have two balconies on the first floor one is here which is quite spacious and then another one is here can you tell me what would be the height of this I, you can make a wild guess So, any guesses? Well, when you have a 3D model, you don't need to make random guess. You can always use the measuring tool to check. So it's almost 2 feet 6 inches. If I will go for the accuracy, then it will be 2 feet 6 inches. Now, you can see we have glass windows over here then we have ventilators and door to enter the balcony we have a beautiful design even on the roof like just over the balcony you can see this design do you know what it's called you can write that in the comment section and I will get back to you okay so I'm asking about this gap can you tell me what this gap is called well this is our headroom from here we will reach the roof now you can see we have a arc on the headroom which is quite beautiful and when the rain will fall on this roof then it will simply throw away all the water that comes on this shed I think there's a lot to tell about uh, the design so what should I do now should I talk more about the design or should I just simply enter the house and tell you the about the components mm, I think uh, this uh, I should uh, show you the designs first okay so why we design a beautiful exterior obviously it is made to make our house look better than anyone else in our neighborhood or sometimes it is for the satisfaction of the owner now this has been made into a group so I will explode it 
so that I can choose a single component at once. Now, to enter the house, what I need to do is to move away the door. From here, you can enter the house. Or, I have another option that I will do it in my previous way that is by opening the floor to floor so let's open it i will select it and i will just remove it let's open the headroom first So you can see it's a space for the staircase. Here is our door and from this staircase I will reach the door. Now let's remove it. Remove the slab so that you can have a look on the first floor. You can see it's a G plus one building. It's the ground floor and it's the first floor. So, on this two-story building, we can simply check out the different components. So, to know more about the components, first of all, you need to go through the video in which the plan has been discussed. Only then, you can have a proper understanding of how this 3D model was made. Like you must know the basis of this 3D model. And if you have watched my previous video, you will know the different components. I will show you the new things today. So I will just open all the slabs so that we can have a better view of the ground floor so this section was of balcony you can see its expansion here so here is the balcony and here is the balcony now to know where the kitchen and bedrooms are located you can check out our video on the plan so i think now you are well aware of how our 3d model looks like now let me show you something different which is elevations We will start from the one. So this is our kitchen. Like this is the plan of our kitchen and this is the elevation. So you can see how detailed it is. Like you have the dimension of each and everything in the, your kitchen. When you are designing for the 3D model. This is how we do for everything like even for the different walls let me show you this section is for at B so this is our B wall now we will see the elevation of this wall so here we have the cabinets over here the base cabinet the even the handle where the handle would be located then the countertop what would be the height of the countertop then the window where is the sill level where is the lintel level everything is predefined in your elevation even the height of the fall ceiling is predefined so there won't be any chance of mistake when you will give such a defined dimension to the 
workers or the masons who are constructing your house this is for the everything like for the different uh, walls of the kitchen then we have uh, four sections like a b c and d and your kitchen is well defined now similarly we have elevation for the bedroom then i will directly jump to the last one this was for the fall ceiling of the bedroom so you can see how defined it is when it's come to the elevation and after that you can make this 3d so 3d structures are not just the beautiful designs it is a very well defined structure even these designs like okay you want a partition here and then you want to leave it blank even then all these spaces are well managed like I can take the measuring tool you can see it it's a 10 feet then what is the height of this cap the inner height is 1 foot 6 inch and then 1 foot 6 inch and now everything will be similar like uh, these two gaps will be similar to this one and these two fillings will be similar to this one so I'm not measuring that now it's again almost 1 foot 6 inch yeah it's 1 foot here if I'll just come a straight line I will start from the here intersection and then go to the inner dimension So it's almost 1 foot 6 inch and anyway the purpose is that we have a well defined lines so everything will have its thickness and you can ask your mason to construct your house according to this okay so that was all about the 3d model I will just uh, delete all these reference lines to make it look better okay yeah so this was all about the 3d model thank you and have a nice day